Good afternoon, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day. I am here at Universal Studios Orlando because there's some brand new treats that we need to try inside the park today. This last weekend was Labor Day and it was crazy. I seen some ridiculous pictures from inside the park here. I don't think that's the case today because it is the Tuesday after Labor Day weekend and by the parking garage, it's not that busy at all today. So I'm excited about that, but I wanna head inside the park, do a loop around, see if we can find any new things, any new updates, and hopefully try all these new treats that we need to try today. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. As I'm walking through City Walk, here's a quick update on the new Universal Studios store. That looks like a front entrance to me. And then right next door, we have a few kiosks with all the Halloween Horror Nights merchandise. I remember this shirt. It's a little throwback shirt to Halloween Horror Nights 26. Looks like pretty much everything that you can find inside the tribute store, you can find out here at some of the kiosks. Oh yeah, it does not look busy at all today. And that's a good sign because this past Labor Day weekend, it was a madhouse. For the first time since Universal has been reopened, all three parks hit capacity. It is definitely weird because this time every year we see the Halloween Horror Nights banners along the Universal Archway. This year, nothing. It's a little sad. Let's see, Rip Ride Rocket, five minute wait, The Simpsons, 35, Man in Black, five, Transformers, 30, Shrek 4D, 45, yikes. Revenge of the Mummy, 30, Escape from Gringotts, 15. It's busy today, but not horrible. ET 15. We have made it to our first treat stop here at Central Park Crepes. This place just opened a few weeks ago and the line is a little long because I've been hearing nothing but great things about these crepes. They did relocate the line because it used to be over here, but now there's some kind of stage out. All right, the current time, 11.49. Let's see how long it takes. I believe the line gets pretty long because number one, they're delicious, but number two, they're made to order. So that way they're very fresh. Have you guys ever noticed while you're walking around Universal, if you look up, you can spot the dragon from Diagon Alley. That dragon is massive. For situations like this, this is one of the many reasons why I finally purchased an umbrella because of the rainstorms and also to try to protect me from the Florida heat. And so far, it's working pretty good. Look, there's Gru and the girls, all the minions. That is such a cool float. After thinking about it, I believe this stage is used for character performers because Betty Boop right over here and then the Scooby gang on that stage. Oh, looks like they're doing something. Maybe a character's coming out now. The time. 12.04 and we are next to order our crates. Oh my, it smells so good over here. Here's a look at the menu. I think I'm going to get a smoked brisket and a lemon blueberry. But that cookies and cream sounds pretty dang good. I also really like the theming they have going on here at the crate stand. Very simple. And then off to the side, we have a Coca-Cola freestyle machine. They're making both of my crates made to order. Yum. That's so cool and so like fascinating how they make crates. And here's a look at our lemon blueberry crepe. Now she's making our smoked brisket. We have pepper jack cheese, cold slaw, of course, smoked brisket and a golden barbecue ranch. We have made it back to Kid Zone Pizza Company by the SpongeBob SquarePants store, you know, to get away from everybody. There's nobody around me so I can remove my face covering. But holy cow, these crepes are huge. We have for sweet lemon blueberry and then for savory smoked brisket. And this is hot and it smells so good. Both of them do. I think I'm going to start with the smoked brisket first. Oh, yeah. So we can open it up. But this is also really good. If you need like food on the go and you don't want to go to a restaurant or like a quick service and you want to keep moving, the perfect snack for you. Um, all right, let's just dig in. Cheers. Mm. After taking my first bite, the first thing I notice is how fresh the crate is. Right off the bat, you taste that 
savory barbecue sauce. The brisket is real fresh. And I don't even like coleslaw. I never have, but it is pretty good on this. I wanna show you guys what it looks like inside. I mean, look how much goodness. It's a pretty good deal for two crepes. Like $16 with my AP discount. That's not bad at all. I just inhaled <laughs> that smoked brisket crepe. Tell you right now, that is the best savory crepe I have ever had. But I'm very eager to try a sweet crepe because I've had some really good crepes when I was in Tokyo Disneyland. Make sure you have napkins because you will get messy eating these crepes. But now let's try the lemon blueberry. I didn't really get anything in that first bite. I'm gonna bite down here because that's where all the goodness is. Mm, mm-hmm. Yup, okay. This, uh, this is interesting. I'm not the biggest fan of lemon, but I love blueberry. But I must say that is uh, quite delicious. I don't think it's the best sweet crepe I've ever had, but it's really good. And here's what the inside looks like. It's very messy, but it's pretty dang good. There's also like a lemon pound cake inside the crepe. I just noticed it was right in the middle of the entire crepe. I just finished up with the lemon blueberry crepe. Like I said, it's not the best sweet crepe I've ever had, but it is good. But that smoked brisket, that was amazing. Like that alone filled me up and I'm a big guy and we still have a lot of new treats to try today. I would go back, I would try it if you guys are here. Some of you may like it, some of you may not like it, but I just love the idea of having something like a crepe where you can walk around and eat. You don't have to really, well, you can't walk around right now because of the pandemic, but you can definitely, it's more flexible, I guess, so you don't have to stop and eat, you know, because when I'm out, like Disneyland or Tokyo, and I'm trying to get in my full experience, there's times where I don't really want to spend time or wasting time to eat in a restaurant. I like how there's definitely something or some kind of food you can take on the go with you here in the theme parks. Good job, Universal. There's Barney and his friends because the Barney show is closed at the moment. Oh, thank you guys. I know they appreciate that. And then you have Squidward just walking by, just cool and calm and... <laughs> And then you have Patrick just walking by. Wait, what's this? A Disney duck here at Universal? Wouldn't that make it a Universal duck? I am now passing by the Simpsons ride and I really love how you can walk up and buy a Duff beer. But this one is a energy drink. Sideshow Bob. <laughs> what's going on, man? Going a little crazy, huh? Same. Yeah, what are you going to do though? It's good to see you. Maybe we can uh, go grab a Duff beer later and talk about some plans. You owe me from last time. You remember I picked up the last tab? O of course you forgot, of course. <laughs> I'll remember that. <laughs> Good seeing you. <laughs> I am now passing by one of the U-Rest area locations by Fear Factor Live. And normally this time of year, this is closed because of Bill and Ted or Academy of Villains, of course, with Horror Nights not happening this year. We think Fear Factor will come back sooner than later, but a few weeks ago, we learned the news that Fear Factor Live is one of those attractions and rides that have been affected by budget cuts. So there's no telling when this show will come back. I'm inside the U-Rest area just to see that white outline right here in the middle of your screen right now. That is a Halloween Horror Nights house. It's a tent, but looks like they have not taken down this house yet. So maybe they're leaving it up or maybe they have other plans. I kind of just peeked my head inside Diagon Alley just to see the crowd level. And it's not bad at all. Plenty of room to maintain physical distancing. That's good to know. Only a 35 minute wait for Escape from Gringotts. Whoa, a 50, oh, they just brought it down to 40. It just said, Oh, now it says 25. <laughs> it just said a 55 minute wait for the train heading to Islands of Adventure here at King's Cross. But now it's not bad because it's only 25 minutes. That was kind of cool seeing it in person live. I see since the last time we were here, 
Universal had to place signs out front for the custom gear shop, which is the Fast and the Furious gift shop, right when you get off the ride. The ride is closed due to the budget cuts going on, but like, why even keep the gift shop open? Especially if you have to place signs out to try to bring people in. Something that I just don't understand here at Universal, why am I seeing so many guests not wearing a mask at all? or under their nose or a chin strap. But I always see plenty of team members walk by, but they don't say anything. I don't understand that because at Disney, every cast member will say something to guests if they're not wearing a mask the correct way. All right, let's head inside the tribute store just to see if they have that vegan skull brownie that has always been sold out every day. There's no line. We're going in on a good day. We are back inside and look at this. Currently, I am the only person here in the first room. Something new that's going on here in the tribute store today, Universal has brought the artist who created the icon poster. He is out doing signings today. I believe you have to buy something in order to get it signed, but he's here from 1 p.m. to 4 o'clock p.m. How cool is that? Oh, interesting. We have another Moldorama here inside the Jack room. And it's the pumpkin that we see on the t-shirts here for six dollars. That's pretty cool. No wait today to enter the Beetlejuice room for the Halloween treats. Oh yes, they have them today. Plenty of them. This zombie cookie dough cup looks pretty interesting as well. The werewolf chocolate cake pop and the red velvet blood splatter cake pop. That looks pretty good. Something new in this store also, they brought back the Horror Ink machine where you can create your own t-shirts, you can personalize them. I like this one, Monster Party, the party animal. Quarantine here. I found a new piece of merchandise here in the store. It is a Beetlejuice hoodie. It is the same design of the Beetlejuice shirt. I'm going to try not to say his name three times because in the past videos I have but it is black light reflective. Pretty cool. Oh, here's one that's in the black light. Look at that. Pretty awesome. As we exit the tribute store, they have a little pop-up tent for the artist's autograph session right over here. That is really cool to have. Good job, Universal. I'm sure they'll have more of these throughout the haunt season, more signings. Check this out. Over the Labor Day weekend, Universal had to add a extended queue line for Rip Ride Rocket. And trust me, I've seen pictures. This thing was full of people. I couldn't find like a, a table around this location that wasn't by a lot of people. So I came by the stage here, right by Rip Ride Rocket to enjoy this vegan skull brownie. Check this out. Look how good that looks. It is completely vegan. And just by me opening this, I can smell it and it smells pretty dang good. Here we go. Ooh, it is thick. Mmm, oh my goodness. That is really good. Really chewy, really fresh, has a great taste to it. Very thick, heavy on chocolate. That is a good brownie and I can't believe it. it's completely vegan. That's mind blowing that it's this good. But I'm going to move because I think there's ants over here. So <laughs> let's make our way over to Voodoo Donuts. Minion Mayhem, only a 10 minute wait going on 2.30 in the afternoon. The park is thinning out quite a bit. Oh, look at this. Select HHNTs, two for $40. That's a great deal. Holy cow. Universal has some brand new face coverings. We have a Jurassic World face covering and the OG Jurassic Park. I like that and I wish Universal if you're watching please make size extra large so big guys can wear it too comfortably. Ooh, we have a poppy face covering from Trolls. Minions. Love is Universal. More Minions and just a classic Universal Studios face covering. I love the Jurassic Park face covering. And here, there's still four for $20. Looks like Universal did restock. They have plenty of the Hufflepuff 
face coverings as well. Also, this time last week, I did a full construction update of Islands of Adventure. If you guys want to check that video out, I'll leave it down in the description. Next up, Voodoo Donut. And there's still no line. Thank goodness, because it is getting so hot outside. And here they are. We have a pumpkin donut and a Jack HHN donut. And then the Universal Annual Pass Holder Appreciation Donut. Oh my goodness, they look so good. They are very big. Let's begin with the pumpkin donut. It smells so good. It smells like a pumpkin pie with a uh, pretzel inside. Ooh, that's very stale. I didn't like that at all. But I did get some pumpkin cream and I'm not lying, it's like pumpkin pie. It looks exactly like pumpkin pie, feels like pumpkin pie, smells like pumpkin pie. Oh yeah, that is delicious. Mm. Yeah, that pumpkin donut tastes exactly like a pumpkin pie on Thanksgiving day. Pretty incredible. Next up, let's try the Jack HHN donut. I just can't get over how big these donuts are. Holy cow. It's definitely not as fresh as the pumpkin donut. It's filled with like a raspberry jam. Can you guys see that? The icing is really good, but the donut itself, it's not as fresh as the pumpkin one. And here's a look inside the pumpkin donut. All that pumpkin pie goodness in there. I'm not a big fan of raspberry either. I mean, it's, it's okay, but my favorite right now is the pumpkin donut but we still have one more to try. And finally, we have the UOAP Pass Holder Appreciation Donut. Right now, it is appreciation days for pass holders here at Universal, and I'm already kind of filling the donut. It's a little hard, like it's been sitting. Same thing with the Jack Donut. It just, it feels like it's been sitting for a while, but the pumpkin one feels like it was uh, very fresh. That's good though. I think that's like a strawberry jam. Mm, yep, strawberry. Maybe it's raspberry. Pretty sure it's strawberry. Here's a look inside. Yeah, it definitely wasn't my best trip out to Voodoo because I feel like the donuts wasn't fresh at all. I feel like the best time to come to Voodoo would be first thing in the morning or right before the parks and city walk closes because I know they put out like new donuts at that time. But the one that did stand out was of course the pumpkin donut. It was just delicious. All right, my friends, that is all I have for you guys today at Universal Studios Orlando. It was a fantastic day. We got to go inside and try all the new treats that I've never tried. I think the thing that stood out to me the most was of course the smoked brisket crepe. It was delicious. I will be back just to have that again. And hopefully next time we'll get to try like the strawberry and hazelnut one. That looked pretty good as well. We finally got to try the vegan skull brownie. It was good. And then of course, ending it with Voodoo Donut. Wasn't the best trip to Voodoo, but you know, we'll be back because those donuts are pretty good if you get them at the right time. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really does help out the channel in so many different ways. And if you're new here, please subscribe because we do this quite often and make sure you have those notifications turned on and set to always. That way you always be notified when I release a new video or even go live. I love you guys. Please remember, it's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. Prince Charming, out. I am feeling lonely in a room and it's time to end the right. Fading it too slowly for those can lift me up this time. You were the only one who got me tripping up inside.